Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today's video is very exciting because I am testing out the new One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation. I have been waiting for this to launch. I'm so excited. It launched a few days ago and I've just been waiting. I literally just placed a huge order at Sephora. It just arrived and I was like, this is the first product I have to review. So I'm going to show you guys if this is worth the money, if it's worth the hype, if you need it. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, please, you already know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, turn your post notifications on, and let's get into it. Okay, so I have no makeup on my face, and you know we're testing out makeup when this headband comes out and my hair is in a ponytail, you know we're testing out makeup. So, I have nothing on my face except a moisturizer. I'm not gonna use any primer or anything like that because I wanna just make sure that I get the real results with the powder foundation. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer under my eyes because we are using a powder foundation, so always have to use liquids first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit under my eyes. So this is what the packaging looks like. They're standard baby pink packaging that they have on all of the One Size Beauty products. So consistency, I like consistency. The name is called Turn Up The Base, versatile foundation powder i love the name turn up the base i like it very clever and it's a versatile foundation powder so i'm thinking versatile because you can probably use it to like set by itself kind of thing so that's probably why it says versatile it says it's medium to full coverage powder foundation helps blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores while controlling shine Buttery and buildable, this comfortable wear formula settles softly onto skin for a velvet matte finish. Can be used to blot, set, and touch up skin. So again, that's why it's versatile. So you can use it for three different things, non-cakey and perfect for daily use. It says to use a powder brush or the ultimate puff. I don't have the ultimate puff. I feel like I need to pick one up, but you could use a powder brush. So, okay, so, so far what we're getting from here is it's a medium to full coverage. It's gonna blur unwanted texture and pores so we're gonna make sure we're testing for that it's gonna control shine it's gonna be buildable and buttery and it's gonna give a soft matte finish and comfortable so we're testing six things here so we're gonna put this to the test I got it in the shade medium 4g which is golden undertone because I am golden I'm more yellow undertone but golden golden can do so this is what it looks like a nice beautiful red packaging and again i'm here for the consistency one size beauty does do the red packaging on like the makeup um, remover on their makeup wipes so a lot of it does have this this packaging so again we like consistency this is what it looks like you just open it up really easily it's almost like a magnet really nice because i know you guys know there are some powders that you can't open like they're like jammed it can barely open it i'm like struggling there this really Really easy it's just like a magnet just really quick and of course there's a mirror right there so packaging really nice very compact it's not like too thick or anything so really really nice price wise it's $43 so pretty standard for a powder foundation not too much I've seen a lot more expensive so not bad $43 it does come in 32 shades which is nice so you do have options on the website it says same thing buttery smooth buildable soft matte finish and up to 12 hour wear 12 hour wear I like 24 is usually what I love but 12 hour I can do because that's usually how long I wear makeup for anyways who's wearing makeup for 24 hours not me but okay ingredients um, it says on here that there's rice silk powder and that's what creates a soft focus appearance so that's what's making it look very soft the interesting thing I see on here is that it says it has triple milled micronized purest pigments in the powder and I love to hear that because it's triple milled, which means it's gonna create undetectable, seamless, true color coverage because the more finely milled a powder is, it's definitely gonna avoid the cakiness, it's gonna look very seamless, it's gonna be really, really nice. So I am here for a triple milled powder. Okay. It also says that the true color pigments addresses acne, pores, texture, and uneven tone. So we're about to see because as you guys can see i do have pigmentation i don't really have texture but i do have pigmentation right here i do have a pimple right here that decided to pop up the other day so we're about to see how well it covers there okay it is time to test it out and like i said i'm not wearing any primer because i really want to make sure i'm testing out the formula by itself especially because it says it blurs pores and we know primers usually blur pores so i made sure not to wear primer i'm only wearing the moisturizer that i usually wear so i'm gonna try this 
this on the powder foundation on this side right here because I do have more pigmentation here so I'm going to try it by itself on this side and then on this side I'm going to try it with the foundation to see how well it sets because again it's versatile it's supposed to be used by itself or to set it with a foundation or to blot so we're about to try it both ways because you know I always want to make sure I'm showing you guys different options so I'm going to try it with a powder brush first and then I'm going to see if I have to switch to a wedge so let's try this. Okay, so very light coverage. So I'm gonna switch to a wedge because I'm thinking since they recommend using it with the ultimate path, I'm thinking maybe I have to use a wedge. So I'm gonna use just this basic wedge right here. This is what it looks like on the color. And then we're gonna give it a swipe. Let's see, you guys ready? Okay, coverage is there. Let's continue blending. Definitely more coverage with the wedge than with a powder brush. And obviously that's because the powder brush is fluffy. So it's not really going to give you coverage. It's more for setting. So definitely recommend using a wedge or a puff with this. So I have a little bit of redness right here and you can see that it's definitely hiding it and that's just with like a little bit. I do have a lot of enlarged pores, especially on my nose and a little bit right here on my cheek. So I'm actually going to add this all over my nose because I really want to see if it blurs the pores there. So this is what it looks like on. It looks very, very smooth. Um, you do see a little bit of my pigmentation still shining through a little bit. So again, it's buildable. So I'm going to see if I add maybe a little bit more. Maybe if I use a brush and kind of target that area, it might cover a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that it's covering it, but not full coverage. I'm still seeing a little bit of my pigmentation shine through, but not too bad. As for my pores, it does minimize them, but you still see my pores. It's not like completely gone, but it does minimize the pores a little bit, especially on my nose. You can see it does look a lot smoother. But again, you still see the pores. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try foundation on here and then I'm going to use it as a setting powder and then we'll talk about it. So this is my Becca foundation and this is full coverage. So I'm already expecting that of course it's going to give me full coverage because the Becca one always gives me full coverage and then if you add a powder foundation full coverage, all it's going to do is give you more full coverage. So I know that the coverage is definitely going to be there. And of course, I have this pimple that decided to pop up the other day, so I need to add a little bit more right there because you don't want to see her. And now I'm going to go in with the powder, and here I'm going to use the brush because we're just using it to set, and then we're going to see how it works as a setting powder. This pimple is just causing the most right now. Like, it's not trying to go anywhere, so I have to really pack in powder on that pimple so this is what it looks like on with just the powder you can see it looks very very smooth definitely feels very buttery very very soft it doesn't feel thick it doesn't look cakey definitely gives me a nice lightweight finish so it's really nice coverage wise it truly is a medium to full coverage finish um it doesn't give you full coverage right away you definitely have to build it i see a little bit of my pigmentation right here just very very faintly not much but i feel like if you go in with a little bit of concealer first you'll be good to go but you can see that the coverage it's pretty good it did cover a lot of my pigmentation there so now on this side this has a little bit more coverage because i used a full coverage foundation and then i used the powder to set it so of course both of them together is going to give me extra coverage so you can see on here it really hid that pimple it gives me very full coverage and again it gives me a nice lightweight finish doesn't feel thick doesn't feel cakey at all overall both sides look very very blurred which is nice i love that so now let's talk about pores. Does it make the pores go away completely? No, it doesn't. It definitely minimizes it. You can see that the pores are minimized, but you can still see like a little bit on my nose and a little bit right here, but not much. So it definitely does. And like I said, I'm not wearing primer. So if you pair a primer, like Secure the Blur, that actually blurs pores, 
I'm thinking that plus this, it's probably gonna get rid of your pores completely, but by itself, I can still just see a little bit. But I would definitely recommend if you want more coverage, use a wedge or like some sort of sponge or a puff to apply it because as you guys saw, when I was using the brush by itself, it wasn't giving me coverage, barely any coverage. So definitely use something like this when applying. The coverage is great by itself. I really like it to set my powder because you guys know I love full coverage. So I would probably use this as like a setting powder on top of a foundation or on top of a tint kind of thing just to add a little bit more coverage so overall i'm happy with the coverage i definitely think it's medium to full coverage it's not a full coverage foundation instantly but it's buildable it does give like a nice soft matte finish it feels really nice on the skin very light it gives me a nice blurred effect which i knew it was gonna do that's one thing i didn't doubt because one size beauty i find that a lot of the products always give you that blur finish, like the primer, the translucent powder, a lot of them give that blurred effect to the skin. So I knew, I knew it was gonna come through and it definitely did. It looks very, very smooth, very blurred, looking like she's wearing a filter on her skin. So it's nice for the blur, doesn't feel cakey at all. And that's my biggest thing is powder foundations have always been very against using them because I'm always scared they're gonna look cakey, but this one, doesn't look cakey at all. It literally looks like I'm wearing a liquid foundation. So it doesn't feel cakey at all. Very, very seamless. You can't really tell I'm wearing a powder. So definitely does do that. So do I like this? I do. I really like it, but I do find that it is very, very similar to the Fenty Beauty powder foundation. Both of them claim medium to full coverage, very lightweight, very velvet, soft matte finish, and both of them blur the skin. The only difference is I would say price point. Um, the Fenty Beauty one is a little bit more, and that one actually claims it's sweat proof, humidity proof, so that's like an added benefit, whereas this one, it doesn't say any of that. And I just personally find that the Fenty Beauty one has a little bit more full coverage. So I would definitely say, check out my review so you guys can definitely see how it wears. But between both of them, I would say very, very similar. If you already have the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation, do you need this one? You don't, you don't need it. And same with this, if you have this one already, do you need the Fenty Beauty Powder? You don't. If you love makeup, then of course. If you're like me, you need both. But I just think that they're both very, very similar. In comparison to the translucent powder, I love the translucent powder. I use this all the time. Of course, this is a loose powder and it's translucent. So this isn't gonna give you any coverage at all. All it's gonna do is set your foundation. Whereas this one, it's a powder foundation. So it's gonna give you coverage and it's gonna also blur your skin. So both of them blur the skin. Both of them give a very smooth finish. So at this point, you just gotta ask yourself, do you want a powder for coverage or do you want a powder to set your foundation? Or you can get this one and it does both. But that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts? Have you tried this? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts. Let's talk about it. Is there certain products that you want me to review? I know there's a lot of products that just came out and I just got my Sephora order. So let me know. Is there certain things you want me to review? Let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.